Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds nice. Our channel. Bye. Bye. Not bye. Shit. guys welcome back to our channel and today we're going eh? sounds nice our channel <laughs> today we're going to be talking about how we got married in Denmark the entire process and a little bit of how much it cost a little bit of how much it cost not the entire thing to get married in Denmark and if this is something you're interested in keep watching if you want to know why we got married in Denmark, it's going to be in the previous video, so go catch up on that before you come back to this one. Right? Bye! Not bye. Shit. <laughs> yeah. If, say, if this is something you are interested in. Um, if this is something you are interested in, um, keep, watching. keep watching and um, stay tuned. Let's get started. Let's get started. See the start again. So if this is something you're interested in, um stay tuned and let's get started. Maybe. What? Stay tuned and let's get started. You don't want to say this. Stay tuned. This one? Stay tuned. Let's still be in this channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I know Sandy is working. <laughs> Do you have it again? If this is something. If this is something you are interested in, stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. If this is something you're interested in, stay tuned and let's get started. Yep. How did we get married in Denmark? Are we meant to speak to this one again? Mm. So just put how did we get married in Denmark, and then you you now put the how. Let's see how it flows. Okay. Now, how did we go about it? <laughs> so with our search, we stumbled upon um an agency, then got your contact. Should we say the agency? Yeah. Yeah. So um, the name of the agency is Maria Broad. Simply. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. Yeah. Like, um, uh, so we stumbled upon them. We got their contact, started messaging them. Then they gave us like a catalog or something that we had to like look through. Um, the um, requirements. The requirements and um the budget also like what you have to like pay. Um, the kind of um, service you want mm -hmm. and we kind of like picked what we wanted and ran with it so like they you you would have to go through the stuff the yourself. website so yeah, the, to the, look for you. the agency is maria brought simply you can just put maria brought simply on the web it will show <laughs> you can go through their websites they have a couple of um services ranging from like 300 euros to like 1000 plus yeah. euros yeah so it depends on what exactly you want so their services ranges from just helping you to go through the documentation process to helping you plan the wedding in full like a full blown wedding if that is what you want so just go through and pick whatever you want there and we reached out to them on the 4th of april this year that was when they sent all the catalog so from then, we now have to start getting ready our documents. Now, the problem was that I needed a Schengen visa. So now I had to start applying for Schengen visa. Now, in this country, well, in the UK, I don't know what has happened over the years, but getting the Schengen visa has become a heckling task. I, I, I don't know. It was so much easier before. All the videos I've watched on YouTube just said that within four days, within a week, you get your Schengen visa. But the problem was 
getting an appointment. Yeah. And then getting my documents ready. Well, by sort of. No, 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 no. no my documents, my bank statement was going to be because you need a three month bank statement. And to, I opened my bank account in February. So it was going to be by in May, like middle of May ish. So we had to wait for middle of May for my bank statement to come to be ready for three months to be ready. And then um after that, that was in May, we now decided, okay, we're ready to apply. What we did not know was there's an appointment, Jesus. It's going to be the toughest task. The toughest, like I, I think that was actually the toughest yeah, task was the of the toughest all of this. task of everything. There's an appointment. You applied in May, right? I applied in May. Yeah, so she applied in May. I and applied in May. You thought like okay, when you apply, you just get, you an, just appointment get an appointment almost immediately. And we went to the website to check for the appointment and to the greatest of our surprise, there were no appointments for the whole for the whole of month May. of May. And we applied like eleventh or twelfth of May. Yeah. So imagine having like you have like twenty more days or so in the whole month of May and no single appointment date. It was really really tasking yeah and um, so we had to wait then sometimes we get so worried and we had to message and ask like okay when is this appointment going to open, going to open. then another shocker came and it was the middle, the middle of june yeah so it, it was like we kept on planning and things were just no, no, no it was the middle of may it was the middle of may so they said the appointment was going to open in the middle of May for the middle of no for June. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah. appointments would open middle of May for June. Appointments would open middle of June. So when did July. you when did you apply? I applied in May okay. for the visa. I did the visa application in May, but to get an appointment, I applied middle of May. It was May, May 16. Let me check. Yes. It was May 16 we booked our appointment, but mm -hmm. we could only get an appointment for June 12. Okay. Yeah. And that, 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 that yeah, yeah, yeah. And that appointment was, that appointment booking was quite stressful for us because yes. we were moving, it was quite hectic because we were trying to like. Yeah, we were on the laptop. We were on the laptop. I was on the phone working See, and everything. Like, <laughs> it we were, was we were upside down. She had request, first of the site was. Yes, it was hanging. <laughs> it was a mess. I think there was a lot of people on their it was, side. It was a mess that and day. And honestly, it so, was even the grace of God yeah. that we were able to know that the site was open. Because I'd been checking every day. We had been checking every Before day. Before you to sleep see at you. night, we'll check. We we'll we'll sleep, wake up in the morning, we'll check. We'll check. Like, we're just doing it randomly. Like that day, I think it was just, I was waiting for my class and I just decided to check that day. I was in the computer room, I remember. And then I just saw it that appointments are open. So I just went to the site. I just went to the site and everywhere was just jump packed. Like the the website crashed. Yeah, and it was always requesting for like OTP. For OTP. So, so I think <laughs> she did it a couple of times. Yeah, like, like she did refreshing. a couple of times. Then like she, something times. She contacted me and she was like, No more appointment is open. You tried and me, I was doing it. So yeah, Namo did it. I so did it. So it, it got so bad. Down. Then we now messaged them, and they told us, okay, they exactly. kind of like having issues with their side. They to come back up in like I think a couple of hours. Then, hmm, then the site was now okay. This is where the problem now happened. So all the stuffs we <laughs> have been OTP. requesting, requesting for all the OTPs. Not so even when we're like, okay, the site was now normal. Let us start applying. Everybody was All the booking. OTPs were coming. We're coming. And in. now the sad part was we're now losing the dates. Like, yeah. Because aside from 1st yeah, of June. We saw 1st of June. Like we were happy to see 1st of June and pick it. But like, we, could not we couldn't pick it because for every time, sense. yeah, every time you put the OTP, it would be wrong because that's not the right OTP you like. Kind the of most like had recent applied OTP for. had to come, so we had to wait so for all we the things. So now we waited for like almost two hours for all the OTPs to come into our phones, and after that we now calmed down. Then I think she did it, like she did it. I did it, yeah. and then they told me to wait another two hours. So sad, like we saw first of June at our grasp, 
and we couldn't like, just hold it. We could not just hold and it. It was very, very, very annoying. And um later I shared that day I was at work and I kept just checking. <laughs> I kept checking, checking, check. Anyways, we eventually we were able to book um twelfth of June. Eventually. Eventually. Sad. Yeah. And um so that was on the sixteenth of May. But meanwhile, to apply for a Schengen visa, you need your flight itinerary, accommodation bookings, yes, no. blah, blah, blah. So we had to book all of that down. That was another mistake we made. A very big mistake. Yeah. Like that was, I think that was the biggest mistake we made in this whole application because we paid, we for, paid our for all flights. of our like, flights. We believed Everything. that it was going to come out so fast. Yeah. And we paid for our flights. and we paid for all our all, flights. All the stuff. Yeah, because we were looking to get married July 6th. And I just felt like Schengen visa has come out really fast. If I do my biometrics June 12th, I mean, that's like three weeks or so before the... So I believed that it was going to come out. Because again, all the Schengen applications on YouTube that I've been seeing, they keep saying within one week you get your visa. Anyways, on the 2nd of May was when we booked our flights and everything. And then on the 6th of May, we told our parents our plans. Now this one was, <laughs> it was, it was surprising for me because when I told my dad my plan, our plans, he just said, okay, that's a good idea. Let's begin the process. <laughs> if, my dad is the kind of person that asks questions. So I was already preparing for all the questions and everything. And then when he said that, okay, that's a good idea, let's start. Then he was like, he would call me later in the evening. That it was busy at the moment. My dad didn't call me later in the evening, or if he called, he didn't have any questions. I was surprised, honestly. I would not even lie. I was surprised. Anyways, that was it. And then I'm going to all his parents and the entire family. Yeah, I told my parents and. I thought my parents were going to be cooler and calmer with the whole stuff. I'm like, okay, it's fine, it's all good. Um, they were the one asking the question. Yeah. Like they, they were, they, they were kind of like, but I act, actually kind of like understood from their perspective. They actually wanted to shake me. Like that's why I looked at it. They wanted to shake me. They wanted you to be sure what you're getting yourself into. Like, are you sure you really want to do this? Are you sure um, um, this is the right person for you? Like. Disclaimer, it's not like they've not known her. Like, she has yeah. been all up in their face every time. Have I do? Yeah, you have. Not like you've been all up in my parents' face. Yeah, but like you were there. Like, they've seen you a couple yeah. of times. They've spoken they to you. Me, yeah, you've yeah. called them and all that. But like, they just wanted to be sure, like, okay, are you are you okay with this and all that? But like, when I kind of like give them a very, very, very good explanation and all that, I was like, okay, fair enough. Um, it's fine. And they gave us their blessings. and. Yeah. It was time for the both parties to meet, but that's a story for another day. Is it? Okay. <laughs> so um, I feel like we're actually extending this video. Yeah. Like we're not supposed to be this long. Comprehensive. I called her dad, and um, I explained to her dad also about um, the whole thing, and he was okay with it. Then he gave me. He told me he was going to reach out to me, like give me a comprehensive list of what I should do first, like when my parents are meant to come and Oh yes, and meet. yes, yes. So we wanted uh, our parents to meet. Meet her parents. Yeah, before the wedding. So yeah, of course, introduction had to happen. The parents had to meet. So yeah, that happened. Introduction happened on the twentieth of May. Yeah. Our parents got introduced. And we were not in Nigeria. We were working. <laughs> like, so, I literally was working that day. And yeah. I remember my cousin calling me and I was like, on video call with him. And I was working and I was looking at my cousin, looking at my family, looking at everybody. And it was, it was fun, actually. So, was it fun? It Fear was of fun. missing out the lucky. No, nah, I didn't. Like, I think, my I think, parents... I think the, it was the ending of the introduction that was like the shocker for me. Like, when we were both on the video call no we were on the voice call with my dad your dad and your elder brother and then questions started coming in yeah so in my that. family after the introduction the parents sit and then discuss like what's the next step and all 
normally the next step is engagement so my dad wanted to know when is the engagement and it's not as if we had not told him before that we're not ready <laughs> like <laughs> it's so funny like we actually explain this thing we explain, in detail but it's like my father just parties. my father just had to go he did not hear anything after he just had my daughter wants to get my oh yeah let's party that's the reason my father <laughs> Anyway, Anyways. so we did the explanation again. Yeah. Like to them that okay. Um We're first of all, like ready. I think what actually like I think what actually like helped us is the fact that your dad is um a strong believer of like um married couples shouldn't be apart. Yes. So I'd always known that. So when so, I called him to tell him about her plans, I started with so I know you believe that <laughs> um married couples should not be apart. So Nama and I are finding a way to meet together to continue our life journey together that's that's what i started with yeah i think that's also what i kind of like started with also so i explained that to him and i remember i was coming back from work it was about 11 or 12 a.m and, you were outside. and i was outside walking back home and, and he, he texted me i was like i'm free now like you need to see the, <laughs> you need to see the shiva like i i just thought where i was and i called and i stayed there. i didn't move like <laughs> it was so shocking like i could walk home i just stayed there like um explaining explaining yes yes daddy yes sir no problem yes yes i know then he was like okay i'm fine with it and um um i'll i'll i'll, I'll tell him to send you a list he, he he literally told me it is something you can handle <laughs> i remember I was like no 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 it's something yeah, you can handle would go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was basically it and um we got my family on board also um the thing is i actually wanted to keep it very small but like it was kind of like a juggle between the two families. Yeah. Our family so wanted to we make don't it, do small things. They wanted in to my make house. it not too loud, but like at least like moderate. My family wanted <laughs> to make it loud. <laughs> but like let me know like for, for every time they were coming making it loud, I was toning down the effect. I was no, 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 yeah, I want it quiet. Because I don't we want, were actually not like, going to be there. Like, what's the point? Of making it loud i had to tell my mom that no tents because they were going to use tents in my house introductions we use at least at the very least two tents so one for the bride's family side one for the groom's family side then the middle has the couple so like that's what we do so i had to tell my mom that no tents like please no tents but what my mother pulled, she really turned our sitting room to an event center like when i saw that living room I could not believe my height. I don't think anybody in my house believes their height because it was a proper event center with decorated tables and everything. I'm like, my how is my palette this big? Like, how, how did it contain all of this? Like, proper event center. Anyway, so they had introduction with the live bands, with everybody, with Alaga. Yeah, it was actually very nice. <laughs> yeah, um, it was. It was. I think the highlight also for me on that day was the fact that like I called like all the family members that kind of like went to represent me and kind of like asked their opinion about like her family and mm. everybody had good things to say. Like I remember one of my aunts was like, um, Namu, you carry I go market. <laughs> that was what she said. And I was I was actually very pleased because like everybody like loved each other. Then I called yeah. my, my dad and my mom later that day and they were like, okay, uh, my mom was like very proud. My dad, <laughs> in my dad's word, was like, he's so happy to meet the family, and he's going to do everything in his power not to ruin what we have. That if anything is going to happen, it's, it's not going to come from life. his well, side. It's going to come from me and my me and my wife. Yeah, my wife now. So um, it was actually very, very, very nice, and I, I kind of like really, really loved it. So that was it for the, the introduction. Intro. So we got out of the way then we continued legal steps yeah so we <laughs> kept putting the documents together they needed relationship evidence so we had to go and gather our charts archives like, <sighs> that was Pictures, also very stressful charts, yeah very like, stressful we went to facebook we went to whatsapp did we go to instagram no, we went to emails to like emails. we had to gather up charts like Everywhere so, we could find chats over yeah. the years, we just and it's not just you. Have, you get out chat and make sure like the dates, the are, dates showing, are showing, the date stamps are showing. Because there were some pictures we took of our chats that the date stamps did not show yeah, that we had mm-hmm. to discard. So, so yeah, for me it was, was it very was very stressful. funny because like 
I, I told her. To prove my relationship. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I told her. Like, why am I trying to prove my relationship to somebody? Like, can't I just say I'm in a relationship with this person and you are just upset? So, I get that, though. They want to make sure that what we're doing is it's not actually, like an yeah, arranged. Yeah. It's not arranged, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah, so putting the documents together also and giving it to them. Also, if you plan on doing it, like for us, it was very easy. We made a Google Drive and made the person in charge, like the yeah. Maya board agent, like also accessible to the Google Drive. So, like when we upload stuff, she could just see, see it directly and look through it herself instead of us sending it like one by one to her. So, it was quite easy for us. Yeah. So, 12th of June. After the intro day on the 20th of May, 12th of June was the biometrics day. The biometrics place was actually not far from my house. Like, it's just like 20 minutes from my house. So I was really happy about that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay. So, 12th of June to 6th of, 6th of July came, which was the expected date for the wedding. But no visa. And so I called, I called them, not that I have, I had not been trying to call them. I've been trying to call them like since forever, but nobody picks up. And eventually this day while I was at work, somebody picked up and then they were like, um, because the dates of my travel had passed, I had to give them a new date. So I gave them 24th of, 24th of July. July yeah. 24th of July to, to what? A 10 days. A 10 days yeah, ago, like it, 10 because days it was my first time applying for a Schengen visa. They wanted to give me the exact number of days I asked for. So when they asked me when I wanted to travel, I just said the next week, Monday or so. So they gave me from 24th of yeah, July like 5th or 6th, to, something like that. To, or 4th of August. No, to 17th. They gave you 17th, like... But... 17th of August, but I have to travel 10 days within that time. I cannot be in the Schengen area for more than, than 10, 10 days, days yeah. within that time. So, yeah. We got the visa, we sent everything. The visa was, like, the last missing piece for the Maria abroad people to have. So, we sent it to them, and then the marriage application license part started. So, for the... Since they had all the documents, they just had to do whatever they did. They sent us some documents to also sign and scan and everything to them. It had to be hand signed, not electronically signed. So I signed, or he signed, yes. sent it to so me. It to her. I signed and scanned it to but, them. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we finished the application process. The application, pro the application itself cost. I think 210 pounds. 210. 210 pounds. Yeah. The application license. The license. Yeah. The license itself cost 210 pounds. The service we went for for the Maria abroad people cost about 300 euros. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so like 255 pounds, thereabouts. And then, um, so yeah, we didn't, after paying for the license and everything within three days yeah within three days they replied us and told us that our application was ready our license had been approved we had done good good documentation like yeah. we have proven like <laughs> our relationship was authentic i feel yes, like yes yes that was actually very yeah. fast though, because we were like okay five days stops and yes. that was it but it came so they are, they are obligated to reply you within five, five days, days. Yeah. So if the, re the reply can either be that your application is successful or they need more documents or yeah. they need you to review some documents. Now, if they tell you to review documents, they are no longer obligated to reply you. So the process of replying you again might take like six months for them to reply you again. So that was why we decided that we should make our application airtight. Yes, and we should go through an agency that knows what they are what doing. What they are doing, exactly, yeah. Yeah. So after that, and only after that, were we able to book our flight again. The second time. Yeah. So now Don't we had... Don't forget the first flight money has... It has disappeared bumped. because we didn't pay for flexi. So. Yeah, so it's... Okay. And the first flight, we paid a total of like £370 pounds to book our flight. Now, um, oh, no, it wasn't August. July, what? 
Okay, so we got the license. Mm -hmm. We applied for the license on the twentieth of um, July. We got the license on the twenty fifth of July. Yeah, but it was like it over was a, a weekend. weekend so yes. Thousand. Yeah. So three working days was what it took. The twenty fifth of July was when we now had to book our flights. Now we were booking flights for August second. August yeah. 2nd, August 4th, August 10th or 11th, August, August 11th. 11th, yeah. So because I had to enter by like August 2nd and then leave August 11th, 10 days. In 10 days within the Schengen area. Yeah. So it was very close. Imagine applying, I mean, booking flight 25th July for August 2nd. It was very close. So it was, the flight tickets had gone up significantly. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So, so like times two of the initial yeah, one we paid in total time. we paid like 570 pounds for the flight tickets yeah so after the flight tickets you guys know what happened next <laughs> right? right we um so the maria bird people didn't just leave us at that point they followed us through sent us Documents, documents, messages, what we needed to do. We need to go there to give them our documents, like physically, so that they can validate the documents and everything. But they made arrangements for us to go on the day of the wedding. Most people go before. You have to go before before, before the, the wedding, wedding day. day. Yeah. You go there. So most people go a day before the wedding day. To but also were special spots. people yeah so when they want our before before our wedding time not yes. even wedding day <laughs> our wedding our time, wedding time. we validated documents we had the ceremony which you guys must have watched by now if you haven't go watch and yeah so after we got our certificates we got our certificates immediately and after we got it we went to the ministry of foreign affairs to get um like an apostle apostle so apostle is like legalizing that document is legalized <laughs> i don't know how else to put it it's so like the, extra layer of um, legalization yeah <laughs> and it's just a paper that they would just come to the certificates really so we did that for just one of us they gave us two certificates we did that for just one of our certificates and it cost 30 euros per yeah. document yeah so yeah that's that's basically all of it now we're here in Estonia. Married. And she's going back today. Yeah. <laughs> Ten days is over. Now I'm going to face reality. Reality. But it's fine though. Because we have to get uh, her this money that we spent back. <laughs> but it's actually, it's actually okay. We, yeah, we're we are taking, yeah, we're happy. We're taking the first step to like getting to together. Be together. And um, whatever the future holds, be it um, her coming to the Schengen area or me coming to the United Kingdom, it's, I feel like now it's going to be easier. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, that's basically it. For the two other parts of the ceremony, stay tuned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That>. <laughs> That's yes, the so Later, later. All right. So yeah. if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Click the notification bell. What else do you say? Like this video. Like this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.